So we are learning from First Timothy, Second Timothy, and Titus, three pastoral epistles. So if you are learning all these three epistles correctly and accurately, these are the things which God wants us to learn because Apostle Paul he's telling timothy and titus these are the things you have to implement in churches so we are living in church age so we will get a clear cut idea of what is the expectation of god in regard or the expectation of god from the churches so we are continuously thinking from timothy today we will think second timothy chapter 2 so these are all epistles which instruct the timothy uh, timothy titus Timothy and Titus to implement the things in the church. So mainly dealing with believers. So the instructions are for the believers. So uh, towards 20 onwards when we are reading. But in a house, in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay, some for honor and some for dishonor. Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from the latter, he will be a vessel for honor, sanctified and useful for the master, prepared for every good work. So 20 and 21. So Paul is telling about the believers in a church. Here it is written, but in a great house. The house is, if you are going to First Timothy, First Timothy 3 verse. First Timothy three words. Uh, Fourteen onwards, if you are reading, and you can read First Timothy three fourteen. If you're not reading. These things I write to you, so I hope to come to you shortly. Yeah. But if I am delayed, I write so that you may know how you ought to conduct yourself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and the and ground of the truth. Yeah. So here, so when we are learning the epistle of uh, Paul from uh, Paul from Timothy on Titus and uh, first and second Timothy, then Titus. So here, in two verse twenty, we have seen, but in a great house. So. What is meant by the house is given in First Timothy 3 verse 15. But if I am delayed, I write so that you may know how you ought to conduct yourself in the house of God. That is, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of the truth. We have to know the church is the pillar and ground of the truth. So truth, truth is the word of God. God wants to preserve the truth or the word of God through church so church is the the pillar and ground for the for upholding the truth so only in second timothy uh, paul is telling timothy 1 verse 13 surely can you read second timothy 1 13 hold fast the pattern of sound words which you have heard from me in faith and love which are in christ jesus so Timothy was instructed to hold fast the pattern of sound words which you have heard from me. You see, that was the dream of Apostle Paul before his death because he, he was knowing he was going to be executed. So in chapter 4 we are seeing he is telling I, it is time for my departure is at hand. So his dream or the burden of his heart was to uphold the truth and he was having only one faithful follower that was timothy a lot of people were with him it does not mean that they were not born again but the only timothy he was able to trust so he timothy was different if you, why he was instructing timothy all these things we should know who timothy was to paul if you're going to the uh, letter of paul to philippines the letter of paul to the philippines chapter 2 So we are also working for the Lord. To a small extent, we are also workers of the Lord. So we also have so many believers around us. But all believers are different. So Timothy was different. If you are reading 2 verse 19, Philippians 2 verse 19, you can read. But I trust in the Lord Jesus 
to send Timothy to you shortly that I also may be encouraged when I know your state. For I am no, no like minded who will sincerely care, care for your state. Yeah. For all seek their own, not the things which are of Christ Jesus. So he's telling, no, we should know who Timothy was to Paul. So here he is he's writing about Timothy. For I have no one like minded who will sincerely care for your state for all seek he's talking about timothy but i trust in the lord jesus to send timothy to you shortly that i also may be encouraged when i know your state for i have no one like minded who will sincerely care for your state for all seek their own not the things which are of christ jesus so what will, if apostle paul is with us now what he will tell about us will he make a comment like what he made for timothy or here timothy and all others are different one timothy he's like-minded like paul all others they are believers they will go to heaven no doubt because all the workers of but those who worked with the paul they are all good christians if you are comparing ourselves with the, the other christians we are nowhere reaching to those christians actually other than timothy all others are good luke was there then even titus was there but no one like timothy what was the difference the difference is written like uh, like minded who will sincerely care for your state for all seek their own not the things which are of christ jesus it does not mean that others are not converted or others are not living for jesus they are living for jesus it is true but the things pertaining to their own life is coming first they will look after their own life then they are serving the lord also just like people are telling uh, some people are full timers some people are part time the sort of classification was there not, not there in the first century so they were all devoted to the lord but timothy was different and many of his personal things he was not able to perform because in front of Timothy, if, if a situation is coming, something related to his work and something related to Lord's work, he will forget his work and he will go for Lord's work. So only Timothy was like that with Paul. All others, they are also serving the Lord, but if some, a situation is coming when they have some personal work and some work of the Lord, what they will do first? They will do the personal work. then leaving aside the lord's work but timothy was not like that many of the many of his personal works were suffering because he wanted to do the lord's work so what is our life are we like timothy means whatever whatever may be our personal work personal responsibilities not responsibility i'm not telling but things which we can avoid but we will do our own work and finally if some free time is there if some after completing all our works if some free time is there then you will do lord's work i have my own experience so when i am asking some people to really i remember certain instances when we are calling for bible study or prayer meeting they used to say, i think my duty is at that time if no work then definitely i will come that is the response of the people now many of the believers are like that but you have to know whatever you are sowing you have to reap if you are sowing for the spirit you will reap the fruits of the spirit and if you are sowing the sowing for the flesh you, what you will reap what is written if you are sowing for the flesh what you will reap death death if you are going to galatians it is written galatians 6 galatians 6 9 onwards you will can you read and let us not grow weary while no no it's seven uh, seven onwards yeah do not be deceived god is not mocked for whatever a man sows that he will also reap mm. for he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption but he who sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap everlasting life yeah so if you are sowing to the flesh what you are going to reap is corruption or destruction damage calamities not peace but if you are sowing to the spirit you will reap everlasting life so 
So we have to understand who Timothy was. Timothy was the only one forgetting about all his personal ambitions, personal dreams, personal things. Then he will set aside all his personal things and go for Lord's work. So only Paul is telling, I have nobody with me like Timothy. All of these are all good people, but they are caring for their own things. And along with that, they are looking after Lord's martyrs also. So I want each and every one of, every one of us to be like Timothy, caring only the martyrs of the Lord. Then the promise of the Lord is that we should not forget if you are seeking his kingdom and his righteousness first. Now, everybody is seeking his kingdom and his righteousness, no doubt. If you are seeking his kingdom and his righteousness first, then everything will be added to our life by the Lord. But everybody is seeking his kingdom and his righteousness, but not giving the first priority in the life. God, you cannot put Lord on the second place. He is almighty God. He is the, the king of the universe. So coming, coming back to 2 Timothy 2. So the house, what is meant by house is the church. Means these are he is dealing with only the born again people, not the people of the world. So in a house or a, in a church, there are different types of believers are there. He is just comparing the believers to uh, some objects of different cost in the world. Some are like silver, some are like gold, some are earthen vessels, some are wooden. Some are wooden. wooden. So, see, in the actual world, a silver vessel cannot become gold, or a wooden vessel cannot become gold, gold or silver. But here, it is not like that. It is written towards 20. In a great house means in the church. Church means there's a universal church, but universal church is to be demonstrated as a local body. That was the principle of the Bible. So Jesus as the chief cornerstone and all those who are born again universally, whether it is in America or India or Australia or any country, all those who are born again are belonging to that church. That is the universal invisible church but what is revealed in the bible is the universal church is to be revealed locally that was what we are seeing in ephesus there is a church corinth there was church then colossus there is church and thessalonica there is church so the universal church is to be locally demonstrated so the quality or the characteristic of the universal church is same as the quality or characteristic of the local church is same different parts of the same body. So here, we are all belonging to the body of Christ or we are born again or we have decided to live for the Lord. So we are born again. How we are born again? We are discussing on the way. How you can become born again? Shirley, can you say? You have to know. You are supposed to know. How you can become born again? One word answer. One word. You can explain, but how you can become born again? Sini. Uh, easy, no. The regeneration or the old Adamic nature, you have to, how you can escape from old Adamic nature, which is by faith in Christ Jesus. You are saved by faith. That's one word. We know if the faith is not preceded by right repentance, that faith is invalid. We know all these things, but you are saved by faith solely. Jesus, whenever he is healing somebody, or he, whenever he is doing something for the human beings, he was always telling, "You are saved. You are healed by faith." The reason is, the all problems of the humanity, whether it is war or disease or everything, it is came because of because of sin. sin. What is the sin? No. No. Faith. Everything came because of a lack of faith so the remedy for all problem is faith so see if you are bitten by a snake the only medicine is anti-venom so the, the humanity fell because of lack of faith so the only remedy is faith so you see the other man you so you had he really believed that the day you are, the day she was eating she would def definitely, certainly die, she would not have eaten. 
So she started doubting the word of the Lord. She did not believe the word of the Lord. So only she has, nobody will eat knowing that you are going to die. If suppose you see, we have a, a sample of some chemicals here, and somebody is telling that you now two people are giving two different opinions. Say so some white powder is there. Say so Chachu is telling that it is sodium carbonate. And uh, Joel is telling, I am very sure it is potassium cyanide. Will you try tasting it? Believing Chachu, will you try tasting it? No. You will never touch, touch it because you may die. If what he is telling is wrong, definitely you will die. Same way, the basic sin of Eve was lack of faith. She did not believe that on the day she is eating it, she will certainly die. She did not believe it. So all sin came because of lack of faith. So the remedy is faith. For venom and the venom, lack of faith, faith. So we are saved by faith. If you are reading Ephesians 2, 8, 2, 8 and 6, shall, shall you read? Because these, these things, sir, we should have the answer in fingertip. Shall you read Ephesians 2, 8 and 8 and 9? Two hmm. Ephesians 2. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not to yourselves, it is a gift of God, not of work, lest anyone should boast. For yeah. we are his workmanship. Yeah, yeah, that's all. So you are saved by grace because of faith. faith. So to verse 8, for by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourself. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. This is the mysterious teaching of the Bible and only Bible teaches. This word is the unique teaching of the Bible. You ask any other religious people, they will say, if you are living a good life, you will go to heaven. That is the answer of all religion other than the true Christian teaching. True Christian teaching because now all churches, almost all churches, teaching a different gospel. Faith alone and by grace alone, no, no church is teaching. Something is added. So bewitched gospel is preached in the world. Some people will teach, if you are not baptized, you will not go to heaven. Some people will teach, if you are not removing the ornaments, you will not go to heaven. Different, different additions are there. That means it is a bewitched gospel or some addition or deletion. So this unique word that you can find only in the Bible. You go to any other religion, they will all say, if you are leading a good life, you will go to heaven. And this is a mystery. This mystery, if something is mystery, what is inference? If, unless and until God is not releasing the mystery, you cannot understand it. These are all mysterious teachings of the Bible. Unless and until Lord is not revealing, you will never come to know about it. Because the soul, it is called a mystery. If you are going to Ephesians 6, you can find the mystery of the 6 verse. Uh, Ephesians 6. Okay, Julie read from 17 onwards. Six seventeen, and take the helmet of salvation. Seventeen one seven seventeen. Oh, oh yeah, read. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Yeah. And for me, the utterance may be given to me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Yeah. So here Paul is telling, verse 19, and you have to pray for me that the utterance may be given to me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the make known the mystery, mystery, mystery of, gospel. of the gospel. Gospel is a mystery. Mystery means it's a secret thing which belongs to God. If some mystery, if mystery belongs to God means only God can reveal it. So only whatever maybe you are explaining to a person, unless and until God is not opening his mind and heart, he cannot be saved. Nobody can understand the gospel unless 
it is revealed by god if you are going to matthew chapter 11 so don't think that we can just take a decision to leave for the lord and you are born again no you cannot born again by your own efforts you have to be accepted by god matthew 11 verse you need 20 or surely you need 27 onwards not 27 uh matthew 11 25 onwards at this time jesus answered and said i thank you father lord of heaven and earth that you have hidden these things from the wise and prudent and have revealed them to babes even so father for so it seemed good in your sight all things have been delivered then they have to listen all things have been delivered to me by my father and no one knows the son except the father and nor does anyone knows the father except the son and the one to whom the son wills to reveal him mm -hmm. so if son is not willing to reveal the heaven or the the triune in god to you whatever attempts you are making it will go into futile because it is a mystery but if you are sincerely reaching god he will never forsake you it is true but Unless and until 27 again, once more I am reading, all things have been delivered to me by my father, and no one knows the son except the father. We know when Paul, no, no, Peter was confessing Jesus as the, the Christ, then Jesus is telling him, Peter, it is not your flesh and blood which is revealed this truth to you, but my heavenly father revealed this truth to you. So only father can make you know who the jesus of the bible is a lot of jesus is preached in the world now but the true jesus of the bible only the father can reveal to you that was what peter confessed then he told heaven the flesh and blood cannot understand it that means whatever maybe you read the bible 100 times but if heaven is not revealing it to you the mystery of the gospel you will never come to know then no one no one knows the son except the father means if father is revealing then you will come to know about the son nor does anyone know the father except the son means only son can reveal the father that is written again and the one to whom the son wills to reveal him that is what is written in Ephesians 6 verse 19 the mystery of the gospel so people are all you see two different cases are there if you are not born again you may not be knowing that you are not born again but if you are if you are born again you will come to know that you are born again did you understand you what i told you you may not be born again but you may be thinking that you are born again but if you are really born again you'll come to know that you are born again so the people a majority of the people they are deceived because they are thinking that they are born again. That's what we are seeing in Matthew chapter 7. Many will come on that day. Jesus is using two words, few and many. About the people who are calling him Lord, Lord. So if you are calling him Lord, Lord, in the as per the standard of the world, you are a born again person or you are a saved person. So Jesus is classifying the people who are calling him Lord, Lord means as per the standard of the world, they are called saved people or born again people. They are classified into few and many. Surely, have you noticed it? You take Matthew chapter 7, it's very important because we may think that we are born again, but if you are not truly committed and if you are not truly given your life to the Lord, you will you will be amongst that many, many. who are calling Lord, Lord and going to hell. So going to Matthew chapter 7, Matthew chapter 7 verse 13 onwards if you are reading, surely can you read 13, 7, 13. Enter, enter by the narrow gate, for the wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction and there are many who go in by it. Yeah. Because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life and there are few who find it. So 13 and 14, it is written, 13 it is written many who go go through by it yeah. and another one is few see if you're going through a road so the road is dividing into two one is very narrow one is very wide and 
see in many rods we have seen the rod signs say a rod is with an arrow perth and the other rod is also with an arrow perth both the rods are going to perth so which one you will prefer not only the wide one so same way the both the ways are the the sign board is heaven one is narrow the other is wide both are directing towards heaven so naturally people which one will take mm -hmm. the wide one that's what is, that is what is written so both it is not that one is under one is arrow is to hell and one is to heaven nobody will go in that way so both the arrows are saying that heaven and naturally people will prefer the wide one wide one means uh, there is no restrictions in the life yeah. you can live as you like and so many comforts of the world and the other one is narrow so why we have to take, go through the narrow gate because both both of them are leading to heaven. heaven that is what is written see immediately after teaching about the wide way jesus is telling about no you read you will read see you have to be very careful two ways are there one is narrow one is wide yeah. one few people are going through the narrow and large people are going through the oh, wide way immediately next sentence false prophets. false prophets so here it is mentioned exactly narrow way and wide way true prophet and false prophet the false prophets are the one who is leading people through the wide way so it is so the false prophet ultimately will lead and take you through the wide way and they are taking you to the judgment seat on that day, that's what Jesus is telling. On that day, uh, 21 onwards, you read. Uh, you'll, you'll read 21. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. Yes, but... see, one second. Who will call Jesus Lord, Lord? Because the condition for salvation is calling him Lord. Romans 10, verse 9 and 10. Yes. So if you are calling Lord, as per the standard of the world, you are born again. Yes. Again, he is telling all those who are calling him Lord, Lord will not reach heaven. That is what he is teaching. 20, uh, you read the jewel. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Yeah. Many will say to me in that day. In that day means that judgment day. Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? So there also they are calling Lord, Lord. Yeah. Because Maybe. throughout their life, Jesus was their Lord. Maybe. But their life was different from the few. Now you read. Not prophesied in your name, yeah. cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name. So those people were, they were very, very proudful of their life. They were casting out demons means the demon is one of their important topics of interest then prophesying prophesying means gospel work they are going behind people to bring them to the the fold of the lord means they are very much worried about the lost souls they are worried more than that of their own souls they are worried about the lost souls their prophecy then great miracles great great miracles means wonders great wonders means they were driven by their own experiences in their life so only jesus at one stage is telling the wicked and adulterous generation is seeking for a sign sign, sign, and, sign and sign and wonder who is seeking for it they they want so if we are telling something from the scripture they will not accept it they want experience solely in the the parable of the rich man and lazarus the rich man is telling you sent Lazarus to my house. If he's telling and preaching, my brothers will repent. Means they want sign, then only they will repent. Because the dead man, if they are going back, they will. When they are seeing signs and wonders, they will repent. So only Jesus told, wicked and adulterous generation is seeking for a sign. Then what was the answer of Abraham? The father of Abraham, what was the answer? Surely, what was the answer of Abraham? So the the rich man wanted Lazarus to go back to his house and if they are seeing a resurrected man or dead man coming by, according to his expectation, they will repent. But the heaven's opinion was different. The heaven's opinion was if they are not believing the words of scripture, 
Moses and prophets means their writings. Because at that time, no Moses, no prophet. They were all died long back. So what is meant by they have the prophets and Moses means their writings. So in our case also, if you are not loyal to the scripture, whatever may be your experience, you will definitely go to hell. You are choosing a wide way. So here, he's, uh, they, they did great things, but the answer of Jesus, you read yeah. 24. Therefore, no, no, 23. Yeah. Wait, wait. And, and then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. You who, so the deciding factor is your practice, not your preaching, not your working of miracles, not casting of demons. What is important is your practice means, practice means your life, what you are practicing in your life. So I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. What is lawlessness? What is lawlessness? Lawlessness is? Law is no, according to the biblical definition. Surely, what is lawlessness? Sini. No, no, it's a clear definition is there. If you go to First John 3, verse 4. Shall you read? First John 3, 4. Whoever commits sin also commits lawlessness, and sin is lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. So those who practice lawlessness means those who are living in sin. Those who are living in sin. So you have to know those who are living in sin can cast out demons. They can do work, miracles. They can prophesy. Recently we have we have gone through sin. You remember? When Saul was means uh, given evil spirit, he was um, inflicted with evil spirit. Then he did hmm? what he did. Hey, not even five days back we discussed it. Remember, Joel? Saul was possessed with evil spirit. Then he prophesied. prophesied. <laughs> so somebody is prophesying. It does not mean that he is inspired by Holy Spirit. The evil spirit also can make you prophesy. A lot of examples in the Bible, is it not? That one demon possessed the girl is prophesying. Mm -hmm. Then one medium, the one lady in uh, Saul's time, she is prophesying. Then a lot of prophets in the time of Micah. All evil spirits, they are prophesying. And prophecy was accurate, is it not? Mm -hmm. Yahab would be killed in the battle. Their prophecy was correct. Then during the time of Jeremiah, mm -hmm. can you tell the name of prophet Sini? was possessed with evil spirit and he's telling thus said the lord mm -hmm. so if somebody is telling that thus said the lord don't get frightened he may be inspired by demonic powers mm -hmm. remember the name of the prophet thus said the lord at the time of jeremiah did you can you tell you're studying jeremiah no so hananiah was an evil prophet he was inspired by demonic powers but using the name of the Lord, thus say the Lord. So, so these people, so in, you know, what is the lesson for us? If you want to go to heaven, you have to go through the narrow gate. The narrow gate is difficult to travel, but it will take you to heaven. The other gate is very wide, pointing towards heaven, easy to go. A lot of miracles are there, casting out of demons are there, then Miracles, wonders are there. Wonders means experiences in the life. Some people will say, I have seen some means a fireball coming down. No, different, different experiences. No. So all these experiences, there's nothing wrong in having experiences, but there should not be lawlessness in the life. If sin is there, that means you are not rightly repented. So without Bible says without holiness. You cannot see, see God. God. <coughs> so coming back to Second Timothy. So here, now you may be a an earthen vessel or a wooden vessel. How you can become a golden vessel? How? Shirley, can you tell me? So now you may be an earthen vessel or a wooden vessel, but Bible says you can become a golden vessel. How? Same. Second Timothy two verse twenty onwards. That's what we are thinking. Sini, how can you? Mm -hmm. 
so god is in our court so god can make you a silver or golden vessel so if you are a wooden vessel or if you are an earthen vessel it is specifically written what is the purpose of a jewel what is the purpose of earthen vessel and wooden vessel sorry no what is the purpose of earthen vessel and wooden vessel it is specifically written 20 but in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and silver but also of wood and clay some for honor, some for honor some for and some for dishonor you see say in some houses in our houses there is no silver plate or golden plate in olden times the king's palace and all they have silver plates and uh, golden, golden plates same way in our house also if you are see if an important guest is coming in, in some houses they may be having separate place locked in the cupboard am i correct yes surely do we have different types of plates when we are coming you will give the daily <laughs> day to day plates <laughs> and if some important guest is coming you will take some plate from outside and you see when you are going to a house if some guest is coming then they will uh, rearrange the room because room is in a totally dilapidated condition so you will make it ready and again you will not use the you are using mug the same mug you are using in the toilet you will not use for drinking water is it not some for dishonor purposes so it is same with uh, the church if you are not cleansing yourself and not becoming like gold and silver vessels lord will use for dishonor. definitely you are a child of god but he will not put forward in front of others this some of our utensils if some important guest is coming you will keep under under court or some some places where nobody will see you will hide it same way lord will hide some of his children definitely you are a child of god but he will not put forward in front of others if you're going to hebrews chapter 11 and you will read hebrews 11 hebrews 11 you read the 15 onwards Eleven fifteen. And truly, if they had called to mind the country from which they had come out, they would have had opportunity to return. Yeah, read. But now they desire a better, that is, a heavenly country. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called the God, for He has prepared a city for them. Yeah, it is written, and. Truly, if they had called to mind that country from which they had come out, they are talking about the Israelites. Means uh, they have come out of Egypt. We know their history. After crossing the Red Sea, in their mind, what were they? What they were thinking about? Surely, Israelites came out of Egypt. They crossed Red Sea. They are in Canaan. But what was what was in their mind? They have been happy there. They were not happy with that? If they have been happy, if they would still stay there. Like no, three, Acts, Acts 7 verse 13 and you read. And the second then Joseph was made to know to... 7, Acts 7, 39. Is it? 39. 39. 39. Our fathers would not obey but rejected. Yeah. In their hearts, they turned back to Egypt. In their heart, they turned back to Egypt. You see, they are physically in Canaan, but their heart was in Egypt. Egypt. They are thinking about the meat, then the fish, and all these things. So many of the believers they are born again. They left some church, they, they left the world, they have taken baptism. They have taken symbolic of death to the world and forsaking of the old life. But in mind, once coming out of water, they are thinking about the old life. Their dreams are still in the world. So, so it is written, 11 verse 15, though they have, uh, Hebrews 11 verse 15, and truly if they had called to mind that country 
from which they had come out. Say in, in our life also, we have come out of the uh, the worldly desires and the dreams of the world. Still, if you are thinking about, we, we can think. That's what it is written. Uh, from which they had come out, they would have had opportunity to return. We we can all think about the world. Thinking about the world is same as going back to Egypt. But 16. But now they desire a better, that is a heavenly country. So some people, though they are coming out of Egypt, they are thinking about Egypt. But some people, they thought about a heavenly country. So the next word you read, Jewel. Therefore, 7, 6, no, 11.16. But, but now they desire a better, that is a heavenly country. Therefore, therefore, God is not ashamed to be called the God. For he has prepared a city for them. So if you are thinking about Egypt, the worldly dreams, how to make money, and how you can begin the world, how you can improve your comfort in the world, God will be ashamed of you. He will be sad that this one, if he had not been born again, it would have been good. Like Samuel made Saul the king. Later he was regretting oh, yeah. about making Saul the king. Yeah. Same way, some of the believers, they have come to the Lord and Lord is regretting in his heart. He is very disappointed that some of the people are born again. Because they are still thinking about the world. They are thinking about Egypt. Their mind is filled with the, the dreams of Egypt. They are thinking about the meat. Oh, they are eating. When they are eating manna in the desert, every day say manna, 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 manna. They are thinking, oh, we had good meat was there, fish was there. But they are forgetting the slavery. The slave ma masters were whipping and torturing them. Everything they forgot. Now they are thinking only about the meat, fish. Now the manna, even though the same manna, it is given by God. So this can happen to us also. If it is happened, Lord will be feeling ashamed of sure. us. So going back to again Second Timothy, Second Timothy. So how can you become a golden vessel? Now you may be an earthen vessel. God cannot use for honorable purpose. Honorable purpose means God cannot put forward you in front of others. Telling that he is my son and he cannot, Lord cannot use you to give his word or to as a standing as a witness for the Lord. He cannot put forward because his own testimony in the world is, Lord cannot put forward because he is having a very bad reputation in the world. Lord is ashamed to say that he is my son. But if you are honoring Lord everywhere, if you are known as a child of God, Lord will feel proud about putting putting forward you in front of others, Gentiles or unbelievers, he will tell he is my son. He is my, in regard with the Jesus, the heaven told he is my son on whom I am well pleased. Very Same way, if you are living for the Lord, all your activities are honoring the Lord. You are not thinking about Egypt. You are thinking your mind is set on heavenly things. Then Lord will tell. So now you may be thinking about the world and Egypt and you may not be indulging in heavenly activities you may be thinking about making money and going behind all these things but if you are cleansing yourself that is the word used second second Timothy 2 yeah yeah 21 therefore if anyone cleanses himself from the latter latter means the uh, clay and wooden condition he will be a vessel for honor Honor means he will put forward you. So, if you are not getting, if you are not being used by the Lord, 100% you are an earthen vessel. If you are good, Lord is in need of a lot of people, but he is not getting people. So, only at one stage he is telling you pray to the Lord of harvest so that many people will be given for the, for, for as laborers. Yeah. So, if you are cleansing yourself, Definitely, Lord will give you opportunity to stand as a witness in front of so many places. He will take you to different places to, to stand as a witness, to proclaim his word. Because this 21st century, everywhere polluted gospel, bewitched gospel. Something is added or deleted. I have not seen no, any church or any preacher, non-preachers, who is not bewitched. It does not mean that they are going to hell because something added or deleted. And the, the, the gospel which was preached by Apostle Paul, Peter, James, nobody is preaching because they are all attached to 
either they are preaching to make money not only freely you received freely you are to give if you are say have you ever gone to any convention where there is not money where money is not collected i have not gone anywhere most important agenda of the meeting is collection of money so directly violating the commandment of the lord you have received freely you have to give it freely so here if you are cleansing yourself <coughs> the same word um, if you are cleansing yourself you will be used for honorable purposes of the lord you, you just think if you are being honored by the lord what greater title you can receive in this world if you are going to john 1226 you'll hear it john 1226 if anyone serves me yeah. let him follow me and no you just listen if anyone we are all in that category yeah. if anyone anyone serves me serves me let him follow me let him follow me yeah and where i am yeah. there my servant will be also also if yeah. anyone serves me him my father will honor who will be honored who who will honor you yes. not the people of the world the almighty god who is the owner of the universe will respect you and honor you if you are faithfully serving the lord and unfortunately in 21st century you cannot find a timothy who is caring only for the matters of the lord he is forgetting his own needs because he is wise not only spiritually as for the standard of the world also he is wise because he knows if he is taking care of the lord's things the lord will take care of your life which will be better you are taking care of your your life and lord is taking care of your life which will be better lord, lord, any fool any fool knows if lord is taking care of my life it will be beautiful and blessed and whatever i am striving hard to make life my life better it is futile so so if you are cleansing yourself how can you clean if you are serving the lord faithfully the almighty god will honor you and the cleansing yourself it is specifically it is written if you are going to isa 52 verse 11 can you read isa 52 11 depart depart go out from there touch no unclean thing go out from the midst of midst of her. midst of her be clean you who bear the vessels of the lord yeah so be clean you who bear the vessels of the lord we are all bearing the vessels of the lord the only condition which is required from our life is be clean we know in isaiah 40 no ezekiel 44 20 23 no the, the law of the temple is all area around the temple is jewel you read for isaiah not i say ezekiel 44 23 44 or 43 ezekiel yeah ezekiel 44 43 tell you read you 43 tell yeah this is the law of the temple this is the law of the temple law of the temple or law of the church this is the only law of the temple this is law of the temple the whole area surrounding the mountain top is most holy yeah all area a to z in the church it must be holy so if you are cleansing yourself or those who are carrying his vessel they must be clean and holy and the same thing is written in second corinthians 6 that also you read second corinthians 6 the same thing is quoted from isaiah second second corinthians 6 verse 14 onwards i will read second corinthians 6 14 do not be unequally yoked together with the unbelievers for what fellowship has righteousness with the lawlessness and what communion has light with darkness and what accord has christ with belial or what part has a believer with an unbeliever and what agreement has the temple of god with idols 
for you are the temple of the living god and god has said this is a quotation from isaiah i will dwell in them and walk among them i will be their god and they shall be my people therefore come out from among them and be separate says the lord do not touch what is unclean and i will receive you i will be a father to you and you shall be my sons and daughters says the lord almighty therefore having these promises beloved let us clean ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit perfecting holiness in the fear of the lord then we are becoming a golden vessel or silver vessel now you may be an earthen vessel or clay vessel no no problem if you if you come out of the egypt come out of the sinful people come out of the world come out of the worldly dreams come out of the worldly ambitions come out of the ambitions of the people of the world making rich or assimilating wealth in this world and set your mind on earth heavenly things then it is having all these promises come out of all these things i will accept you as sons and daughters says the almighty god so perfecting holiness in our spirit and body he will accept us his children <laughs> then we are becoming golden or silver vessels then definitely lord will use it for honorable purposes the greatest honorable purpose is giving his word his mouth mouthpiece his prophet a true prophet of the lord if you are really cleansing themselves please cleansing ourselves you know by the word of the lord you are to cleanse with the word water of the word to cleanse yourself as a pure and chaste virgin then lord will use our life otherwise we may be born again but for dishonorable purposes he will never put forward put us forward in front of others we will be always behind the scenes because he cannot feel proud about us so let us repent let us try to become gold and silver vessels by purifying ourselves and the purification is always by the by the lord lord is in lord's prayer sanctify them by thy Amen. word so word means you are to meditate the word whatever you are learning you are to practice, practice in your life you should not be amongst the lawless lawless people for doing sin whatever you are learning cleansing with the water means or washing with the water means whatever you are learning you are practicing then you will be clean and lord will use us for honorable purposes in sin is someone surely has to go early you're stopping in for surely you came late and you are going early <laughs> that is surely that is surely <laughs>